Melania just took the podium at UN after Trump spoke and shocks everyone with one huge demand. The United Nations General Assembly has been taking place in New York City this week, and the President and First Lady have been a big part of the meetings. The United Nations is an entity that can evoke mixed emotions in Americans because while international leaders need to play nice with one another, this is still a ruling body that tends to overreach in the minds of many of us who are concerned about our sovereignty. They do have a distinct purpose though, they look out for those whose countries aren't looking out for them. Since the President and First Lady would both be speaking at the event, they both took the opportunity to address the projects closest to their own hearts. The President talked about North Korea, Iran, and a few other hot topics, but the First Lady was a little more pointed in her address. Daily Mail reported on First Lady Melania Trump's speech and how she spoke with world leaders about what they are doing for the next generation. The FLOTUS is very concerned with how children around the world are growing up. U.S. First Lady Melania Trump has called on world leaders to step up to improve the lives of children. She will deliver the remarks during a lunch at the U.S. Mission to the United Nations in New York. The White House said the audience will include spouses of world leaders, among others. In prepared remarks, Mrs. Trump said that children are often hit first and hardest in any country when it comes to drug addiction, bullying, poverty, disease, trafficking, illiteracy and hunger. She said, we need to step up, come together, and ensure that our children's future is bright. Her point is a good one, no matter what we do to improve our countries, if we don't have a strong generation to pass it off to, there was no point in any of it. Children can be easily overlooked since they bounce back and adapt, but the accelerated advancements in technology, drugs, and transportation puts those who don't know normal from abnormal at an even higher risk. No child should ever feel hungry, stalked, frightened, terrorized, bullied, isolated or afraid, with nowhere to turn. When we join together as parents caring for children, whether they live in our own families, across the street, across the nation, or across the globe, we claim our responsibility to the next generation to ensure they are prepared to accept the torch of leadership for the world of tomorrow. Those affected are often the weakest, most innocent, and vulnerable among us, our children, she said. Watch Melania's amazing speech. The First Lady has been an advocate for children from her first days in office, and with good reason. Most of mankind's infrastructure and business ventures were originally somehow rooted in making the family, the people's lives better. The very founding of our country was so that individuals could breath free and raise their families any way they wanted. The purpose of government and every official who attends the United Nations General Assembly should be to look out for the people of their country and make a better country for the children who come after. Unfortunately, Many of the politicians are falling into the same trap that we can all fall into. Selfishness is taking over and making the adults who should be looking out for the well-being of the children self-absorbed. It's an epidemic and it's leaving the weak and defenseless to fend for themselves. We don't want to be put out, so we let them be bullied or get addicted to a controlled substance. Paying attention and intervening seems to be just too much trouble. More from our source about the First Lady's remarks at the United Nations General Assembly, all business, Melania Trump was at her husband's side as he arrived at the United Nations on Tuesday. She is to speak Wednesday at a luncheon where she will condemn bullying the President and Melania Trump have a son together, Theron, who is 11. If we look at the present state of children in any society, we will see the future that our world can expect tomorrow, the First Lady says. We need to step up, come together, and ensure that our children's future is bright. Melania Trump announced in November that she would make cyberbullying a focus of her tenure as First Lady. Our culture has gotten too mean and too rough, especially to children and teenagers, Trump said at the time. Asked this week whether she thought Melania Trump was doing enough to pursue her cause, former presidential candidate slash former First Lady Hillary Clinton responded, no. No and, look, I don't think anybody is doing enough on cyberbullying, Mike reported. The First Lady's remarks come a day after her husband urged the UN to live up to its responsibilities and confront rogue regimes like Iran and North Korea. Then, in a tactic that can be found on the schoolyard, 
President Trump referred to North Korean leader Kim Jong-un as Rocket Man, a term that mocks his repeated missile tests despite UN condemnations. Andrews Air Force Base, Maryland, First Lady Melania Trump joins children participating in activities at Joint Base Andrews Youth Program at Andrews Air Force Base in Maryland Friday, September 15, 2017 President Donald Trump spoke to the General Assembly Tuesday vowing that he would totally destroy North Korea if forced to defend the U.S. or its allies. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself and for his regime, the president said. On Friday Melania Trump visited an after-school program for children at Joint Base Andrews Youth Center, at the base where she and the president fly from when they travel. H T, Daily Mail Share if you're glad to hear the first lady standing up for kids around the world. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe to the channel and comment because your vote matters to us, and do not forget to visit our page on Facebook, and liking it, and follow up, and thank you for watching.